Commander. Stevens wants me to personally thank you for the job you've done here. W wait a minute. Now, Commander, we will try again. Get this plane refueled. We have another mission for you to fly. No one gets off that mountain alive. Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Chaos Lord David. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Siphon Filter 2. So here we are in Mission 5. McKinsey Air Base exterior. <laughs> I don't know why they leave out the interior and exterior in, the, in both missions. I mean, just to make it more specific, you know? I mean, we're in the same base, but we're in the outside part of the mission. We're still trying to get out of here. But, I mean, come on now. Isn't... Wasn't it... Was it too much of a problem for you to guys put that in there, 989 Studios? I mean, come on now. However, I will can't... I really can't argue about it. I mean... Oh, what? Well, why not? <laughs> so anyway, once again, uh, pause if you want to read this. Well, probably had probably read this throughout the, me the amount of time of me talking. <laughs> Whatever. You guys had your chance anyway. <laughs> Teresa, come in. I'm out of the holding complex. I read you. What's your plan? First, I'm going to find a decent silenced weapon in case I run into any agency operatives. Then I'll have to find some way to get into that air traffic control tower. After all that, finding a chopper to hit your ride on should be a piece of cake. How you holding up? I've been better. Out. Ballard, one of the feds needs a lift over the main gate. I want you to double time it over to admin and drive the truck for him. Who are these guys, Sarge? What the hell are they up to? Don't ask questions, Airman. Just move. Yes, sir. Okay, sorry about that, because I had to uh, get that dialogue out of the way. So you're going to want to wait until they stop talking and the other guy runs off, and take a seat. <laughs> and some of these guys you really don't have to tase. You don't have to tase all of them. I mean, it's just, it's fine just to play it safe. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> See what I did there? I mean, he's wearing like a Forrest color style camo camouflage. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Sure, it's not Forrest Gump, but hey, whatever. All right, cinematic. What took you so long? I've been waiting here for ten minutes. Yes, sir. I'm supposed to be at the main gates clearing a shipment. If I'm late, I'll have you busted down, Airman. Sorry, sir. I'll get you there. Teresa, I've got something. I think I just saw Thomas Holman here at the base. We went through agency training together. Holman? Don't know him. He was assigned to the FEMA unit. I'm betting he'll know where the labs are. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna get him to tell me. Alright, so we're gonna try to go to, uh, for Holman. That was the new objective. There goes a the truck. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna wanna do now is we're gonna have to pay attention to these, uh, two guys right here. See this one that's closer to me and the one that's all the way over there. We're going to have to pay attention to the one that's closest, that's closest to me right now, which is this guy right here on to the left. Wait until he turns his back, and now. And get up to him, and take a seat. <laughs> Alright, so in the back of this truck is where we're getting our silenced sniper rifle. Oh, crud. That was kind of close. That guy, that guy almost saw me. I can't see him. Okay, I can see his legs. Wait until he turns around, so that way I can tase him. I mean, I could just ignore him if I wanted to, but I just like to play it safe. So I'll go ahead and take him down. Too bad it's not an air taser. I mean, it'd be a lot easier to just take him down with having to risk yourself of being seen. And take a seat. Ha, oh, that was close. I thought I missed him. I thought I missed him for a second. It's It stinks that if you accidentally, if you miss them, then you'll get spotted. That's kind of stupid. Alright, so we go up here. And it's funny how you won't get hurt if you do this. But if you were to roll, uh, if you were to come down, you won't take, you won't get hit. Or, yeah, you won't get hurt. But if you were to come down here, we'll trigger a bit of dialogue. Did you hear that? Hear what? I thought I heard something. I'll go check it out. Or I could just land on the, on the, uh, on the hood of the trunk, of the truck. Don't see how they could hear that. I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty weird how you have to wait until you get on the ground before they don't actually hear you. It's pretty weird. I mean, I, I think landing on the, uh, 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 the hood of the truck would be a bit louder than that. 
Okay, so I'm trying to not run on these little crates because I don't want to alert these guy, this guy. And I can just skip that first guy. I can leave him alone. And take a seat. Yeah. Alright, so now we go over here. Get a little bit of a cinematic going on. Between Falcon and Morgan. I want my chopper cleared for immediate takeoff. Put the second chopper on standby. I'll be there shortly. The rest of the cargo looks secure. Everything from Farcom West is now accounted for. Sir, the F-22 is refueled and ready for takeoff, but the payload you are waiting for hasn't gotten here yet. Your pilot seemed anxious that I tell you. That'll be all, Airman. Get on the radio and ask Holman what the delay is. We can't afford any more screw-ups. Yeah, you're... You cannot afford any more screw-ups. <laughs> I mean, what would you expect? So we got to wait for him to come around the corner. And he'll turn this... He'll go that way, I believe. Or we could just let him... Oh, we're going to have to wait until he turns his back. <sighs> That's weird. So weird. Actually, no. We can just go right over. We can go right around. Like a blouse. Still, I want to play it safe. I want to play it safe. So he doesn't be like, Ha, get turned on, baby. I want to get... I want to play it safe. I don't want him to go like, get turned on, baby. <laughs> okay, so I do believe Falcon and Morgan are still here. Yeah. So I got to follow them pretty close. But here's a bit of dialogue. Here's a cinematic right about here. Leon, I've confirmed it with Gabe. The agency is going to carpet bomb the mountain with nerve gas. You've got to stop them. I know. I'm going to take out that pilot and sabotage the plane. That should buy Gabe enough time to get off the mountain with any GIs he can save. Right, I'll let him know. Out. And amazing. They're already gone. Just like that, they just pulled a da Falcon and Morgan just pulled off a David Copperfield and disappeared. Right before our eyes. Oh boy. Uh, let's see here. I think this guy actually does walk. I can't... I may be going the wrong way. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be going this way. First. Yeah. It's this way. Just want to play it safe so I don't get spotted around the corner. Ah, uh, I don't know why, but it seems like I forgot this mission. Uh, it's silly me. Oh, no, here we are. I'm gonna get the uh, s uh, sniper rifle out, because this is where we're supposed to take down the F-22 pilot. No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, I have the transport's location, and the tower has cleared me. I'm still waiting for the payload. Evidently, Holman had trouble getting it through the main gates. I'm told it's on its way now. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even see me from right there. That is amazing. Okay, so we're going to have to have the taser out for this part. Ready after we uh, get inside the access panel of the F-22. F-A-22. Teresa, radio Gabe and tell him I'm almost clear. He may have a ride yet. You better hurry or he's not going to need one. He's catching a train. What? I'll explain later. ETA on the chopper? I'm on my way to the tower now. I... Someone's coming. You can't let him find that pilot's body. I know. Out. How quiet. Okay, as so you see that uh, MP coming around the corner. You have to wait here. Wait till he comes out from the on the wall. And time to make him take a seat. Oh, I thought I missed again. I don't know why I keep seem seems that I'm shortening it. For some reason, it's what it seems like. Okay, I'm, uh, I think I think I'm safe to run here. I'm trying to play it safe. I mean, I know this part, but I'm still I just like to play it safe. Okay, yeah, this is where the the door is. Activate. What the heck? Do you guys see this? What a nice graphical glitch you got. Lovely. Lovely graphical glitch. Oh, whoa. Ah! <gasps> uh, um, 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 I think I'm in trouble here. 
I think I'm in trouble. Oh, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh, take a seat. <gasps> get around, get around, get around. Oh, 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 that was close. I gotta get this dude. I gotta get this dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Getting a little worked up here. Take a seat. Oh, oh, phew. That was kind of close. I almost screwed up. Okay, so we're gonna need the sniper rifle again. So now I got to take out that searchlight. Oh, whoa. Take out the searchlight, because if you get walk under it, it will spot you. Okay, so there we go. And I do believe there's another bit of... Oh, damn it, get the taser. Uh, another bit of dialogue coming up a little bit. Uh, uh, over... No? Hmm. Oh, kind of screwing up here. Oh, yeah, this way. This part where we got to follow a truck. See that blue dot coming from the left? We have to follow, stay behind this truck. Otherwise, we will get spotted. And you see that light blue opening? That's where we need to go. I mean, hey, you can actually hold it, hang on to this truck, too. Stop about, right about now. Well, well that was close. I almost had it directly, but hey, that works. Okay, should be getting a bit of dialogue here pretty quick or a cinematic that is but I think there's an MP around this corner or he should be coming around the corner he should be coming around the corner I know there's one over here I know there is one over here hmm is there one? Hmm. I forgot if there was one or not. I guess not. I want to play it safe. I want to see if there's none around here. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, I guess not. Silly me. Uh, yes, I'm supposed to be over here. Yes. <laughs> I'm being a little cautious. Alright, there's Holman. But I want to take it easy because there's an MP right here. Gotta get over here. Turn your back on me. Turn your back. I was kind of close. I thought he saw me for a second. Dialogue. What's the holdup on that F-22 payload? It should be there. I cleared it through the gates myself. Well, let's go see what's holding them up. No! We must leave for New York now if the lab is going to have the time it needs to process this plasma. We don't have the samples from the girl yet. We can begin processing Fagan's sample and do hers when it arrives. Otherwise, the shipment will be delayed. Understood. Get to that other airstrip pronto and check on that F-22 personally. Then get over to the infirmary and see what's holding up that medic. He should be finished with her soon. Right. Should I wait here? Okay, you get the other chopper cleared and ready for takeoff. As soon as Holman gets back, I want you to personally deliver the girl's plasma to the labs. Understood. Teresa, Holman separated from the others. This may be my one chance to get to him. I'm going to make my move now. Great. Just don't kill him before you get the information, okay? Got it. Out. Okay, so now it's time to get up close and personal with Holman. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that this guy does not see me, because he's right around that corner. Oh, he's escorting him. I, I should be... Yeah, I'm good for now. I'm good for now. He's escorting him. Don't want to get too close here. I can do without the escort, airman. Sir, sorry, sir. Okay, they'll separate. Now first, you're gonna want to tase this MP. You want to take it easy so he doesn't sp doesn't alert him, and take a seat. All right. So I got to get to Holman. You do want to crouch towards Holman. You don't want to run because you will get spotted, and the mission will end in failure. And cutscene. Any time now. Here we go. Hello, Holman. Standard silence, HK-5. Good. Remember me? Leon, you escaped. Thank God. <laughs> Don't even try. I know what you're planning. No, I was trying to stall them, trying to find a way to get you <laughs> off the base without- You just loaded. 
two missiles with Zarin gas payloads into an F-22 meant for the survivors of a plane crash. No, that's not true. You're I... a liar, Holman. And not a very good one. Another agency course you failed in training? You want to beg for your life? You tell me where Morgan is taking that plasma. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! I'm dying, Holman. Oh! Oh! Siphon filter is killing me and I am running out of patience. Where are they taking Fagan's plasma? And where were they planning to take mine? I can't help you. I don't know where they're taking the plasma. All I know is I was assigned to Morgan. He said we were picking up biomaterials for transport. Transport to where? I don't know. I only know that our next assignment was to pick up some discs from the Farcom Exposition Center in New York. They don't tell me anything. I was just following orders. Yeah? Well, we were all just following orders. Just make it quick. <gasps> You have no idea what you're involved in. Maybe you'll learn if you'd live long enough. I'd suggest not going into work tomorrow. Your boss might not be as forgiving as I am. Maybe not. Alright, so, sorry about that, I had to, uh catch a bit of a breath. <laughs> I uh, had to use the restroom also, so I'm sorry about that. So, funny how his shades are back on Holman's uh, face, even though he never really, like, did you not notice his shades fly off? And it's like, how did he get them back? <laughs> he didn't even reach out to grab them. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right, so this part, I'm kind of going to want to take it easy, because I know for a fact there are going to be some MPs around here. Somewhere. I mean, you can never be too careful. Up ahead. Should be one coming around the corner. Dun dun. Aha! There he is. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's kind of close, a little too close for comfort there. Is he moving? Yeah, he is moving. Okay, his back is turned. Perfect. Just what I want. And take a seat. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. Didn't want to get too far around the. Okay, this part, this part right here. Uh, there's an MP over there, but we'll get to him in a little bit. We want to bring out the sniper rifle. Because uh, there's one more spotlight, searchlight, that we gotta take out. Don't wanna get too far around here so that GI doesn't see me. Take out the searchlight. And that should be it with the sniper rifle at the, as a. Well, not right now, anyway. We gotta use it one last time during the final phase of the mission. Okay, so I wanna bring up taser so we can take out on this guy. Uh, where is he? Oh, there he is over there. This may be a bit stupid. This may be stupid. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Take a seat. Oh, thank you for not turning your back on me. Alright, now what we gotta do here is we gotta go to this truck and uh, start up the ignition. Very amazing action-like movie. Action-like movie sequence starts here. And that will distract them, and we can go in. Okay, so first I want to go off to the left. Here's a little secret cutscene. Uh, it's basically like an optional cutscene. You don't really need to get to this part. I mean, you will get to it after you go to the right, but this is optional. It's just a little extra cutscene for the little, like a little joke. Here's Falcon. Holman, where are you? Check in. Sir, should I send someone for him? No, that won't be necessary. He's just a world-class screw-up. So yeah, that's just an optional cutscene. You don't really need to... You don't get actually come to this point until a little bit later. I mean, after this part right here. Because we're going to have to go into an elevator. Now, here's the funny part about the elevator. Watch here. Weird, huh? Just took me right back. Sir, Agent Holman has not checked in yet. The F-22 has been cleared for takeoff. Priority one. Personnel have not seen it leave the hangar yet. I'll find out, sir. Hey, Sarge? These feds are getting pretty antsy out here. One of them is clear for takeoff. Hold on. 
Agent Falcon, your chopper is cleared for immediate departure. The F-22 is not cleared its hangar yet. If your other agent is at the airstrip, you can fly directly there and pick him up. Copy. Out. Hey, come here and take a look at this. Huffman, get over here and look at this. Huffman? What the hell? <laughs> How do you like that, baby? <laughs> so yeah, you didn't want to come around this corner at first, because this guy over here, that Taze over here, he'd spot you. And I, sorry for kind of cutting out the dialogue. I might do this mission again just for fun, uh, uh, whenever I get the chance to uh, get that recording. Uh, just for an extra, you know, I mean, that that's pretty funny, just, li just eavesdropping on them. But anyway, we're supposed to push the switch to get the transponder frequency. All right. <coughs> I've got a transponder frequency of the downed plane. Now all you need is that ride. I think the agency's provided for me on that one. Falcon's chopper is cleared for takeoff. If I stop him, I can take the chopper and no one's the wiser. <coughs> nice plan. Good luck. Okay, sorry about that. I had to, uh, uh, use the restroom again, and, uh, I uh, had to uh, uh, feed the kitty, so sorry about that. So anyway, we got the transponder frequency, so now we're supposed to get back down off the elevator, and we're supposed to go back to where Falcon is. Yep, teleport. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Now we come over here. This is where we're actually supposed to be for real about coming towards this way, towards getting talking to, getting a cutscene with Falcon. All right, I'm through waiting. You stay here. When Agent Holman arrives, tell him to contact me directly, and I'll give him further instructions. Yes, sir. All right, this part's for real. What I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to wait a little bit. Don't want to get too close. Uh, uh, don't want uh, Falcon to be too close to the MP when I tase him. So now tase the MP. Oh, thank you. That was a bit of a weird uh, animation. Now bring out the sniper. And... Headshot! There you go. There you have it, folks. That is Mission 5. Board the chopper. Get to the chopper! Teresa, I've got a ride and clearance all the way to the crash site. GSAT's reporting a huge fire, probably caused by the crash, but who knows. Thick smoke is shutting down all flights into the area, so be careful. <coughs> well, considering what those guys could have been breathing, a little smoke won't hurt them. Patch me through to Gabe and wish me luck. You got it. Well, there you have it. Good thing I actually remember this mission, because otherwise the stealth missions are just like, like meh to me. I mean, like I said, it's been a long time since I last played this. And I do apologize for the kind of like few interruptions during this mission, but it's just a lot. Just kind of stuff happens, you know, just household chores and just other necessities to where I don't actually mess up my body and actually have bad urine Bad bladder issue, bad urinary issues, you know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of our let's play of uh, Siphon Filter 2, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next part of Mission 6. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.